Digital Production Control, the third program in the OnCenter Software Classic product suite, is a software solution that helps you compare your project's budgeted labor hours with the actual hours it takes to complete that project. Digital Production Control, or DPC, combines the takeoff data from on-screen takeoff with the labor production estimates from the corresponding project in QuickBid to provide a powerful software solution that helps you complete your next project on time and within budget. This overview video will give you a tour around the program and introduce you to the layout of your new project management tool. As in on-screen takeoff in QuickBid, the top two rows of DPC contain the main menu bar, and the main toolbar, respectively. Please take note that while DPC operates off of the platform of on-screen takeoff, when you are working in DPC mode, the Help menu will provide both the user guide and the corresponding training tutorial videos specific to DPC. To the right of the Help menu, you'll have the same three options to connect with OnCenter software, whether you have a feature to recommend or a technical or training issue with which you need assistance. Below those top two rows are a series of tabs. Our tutorial video series will cover each of these in detail, but for now, here's a quick overview of each. The Bids tab shows a summary of each bid in the current database. And while on-screen takeoff and DPC projects will be listed here together, the DPC projects will be depicted in specific colors to indicate, at a glance, the progress of each project. There are also additional columns of information, such as estimated days and percent complete, to give more detail about the progress of each project. The Image tab is where the majority of the action happens in DPC. It is on this tab that the foreman can both plan out the workday for his or her crews, by choosing an appropriate number of estimated hours of work, and then later, select those same areas of work and record the progress. It is this information when combined with the tracked hours from the time card that delivers the vital analysis data for the budget tab. The budget tab provides analysis and comparison of estimated and actual labor production. Along the top, you'll see a timeline. This shows a historical representation of production and whether that production was recorded to be higher, on par, or lower than originally estimated. Below the timeline graph is the budget grid. The grid will show the numerical breakdown of this production in terms of your original estimated hours, the hours you've earned towards those hours, and the actual hours you used to complete that number of estimated hours. It gives a projection of the total number of hours it will then take to complete the project given the recorded pace of production. The grid also shows this information broken down by individual labor cost code, and if need be, by bid area. The time card tab is where these actual hours to complete a project are recorded. These hours can be recorded per individual or per payroll class, depending on the level of detail you need. It is here that the foreman enters the hours and the project manager may approve them. The payroll recap is a tool that simply serves as a review of previous time cards. No data is entered or modified here. This page is only for review. The notes tab offers a place to track unique occurrences on the work site. If there is ever a missed daily entry or the project's production is compromised in any way, the foreman can provide a time-stamped documentation of those issues, such as a power outage, as you see here, or a material delay, or a labor shortage. Finally, Project Express is a file management system that allows the foreman and project managers to send and receive project updates to each other.